Hello everyone. This is my last video message of 2023 and so I wanted to take a moment to just reflect on a few of the highlights of the work that has been taking place on your behalf in our Centre for Pedagogical Innovation. It has been a very busy year, starting of course with the approval of our new academic plan, which is centred on teaching and learning. But along the way, we have continued to also enhance our supports for you related to instructional design and assessment practices. I will note, for example, our new webinar series that's focused on assessment that has been running throughout the fall term and that will continue into the winter term as well. We've also been enhancing our educational technology supports, the most significant accomplishment of which was the completion of our transition to Brightspace, our new learning management system, as well as, of course, followed by uh, the transition to Uja, our new video platform. We've been enhancing learning spaces across the institution. Uh, and I'll also flag for you that there are some projects that will continue into next year. Uh, and one of the classrooms that has been approved recently for an upgrade over next spring summer is Thistle 325. Many of you will know this as the large auditorium style classroom about which uh, the university has received a fair number of complaints and upgrade requests over the years. So we're glad to be able to finally support that work uh, next spring and summer. We've also been looking to provide new areas of support uh, and of course the provision of open educational resource adoption grants has been part of that in partnership with and funded by the Brock University Student Union. We have of course in CPI welcomed new staff colleagues including in roles devoted to inclusive and accessible design uh, as well as support for our new learning management system uh, and of course curriculum mapping as well. We've engaged in critical and meaningful discussions with faculty, colleagues and others about everything from generative artificial intelligence to trauma-informed pedagogies, reflecting priorities within our academic plan. And of course, we continue to recognize our exemplary educators, as we did earlier in the year with our new Chancellor's Chairs in Teaching Excellence, and more recently at the Tribute to Teaching event, where we celebrated our university-wide Teaching Award recipients. But more than anything, I will say that this year has involved many, many, many conversations with individual instructors uh, and educators across the university, graduate students, teaching assistants as well. And although we are working within an increasingly challenging uh, budgetary environment, this is the set of conversations that means the most because we're always looking to better understand and respond to your needs. And so as we approach the end of the fall term, I just want to say that I hope that you can all take time to rest, to recharge, and perhaps even to celebrate this, holidays, this holiday break. So I wish you all a joyous holiday season, and I look forward to seeing you in 2024. Thank you.